Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let us go today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. And uh, I am doing the infinite CC chain with Boomba's hammer and malice and, you know, whatever it is that you do with Artemis. Um, I have not... I have not gone through an hour of my day since this was released <laughs> from uh, from Rabbit. I haven't gone through an hour of my day where I have not been bombarded with messages to please, 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 please do this. I understand. It's really sick, okay? <laughs> I get it. Um, I still have auto skill on. Luckily, it didn't prick me up too bad, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't like my one right now, but it's fine. Um... <clears throat> I've gotten so many messages about this this build. I hope that I uh, I do it justice. I hope I can pull it off. I mean, I hit all my stuff, right? So like, well, then again, I haven't played in quite a while, so. But I mean, dude, those autos, those autos are definitely landing. I want this, but like, he's just gonna come over here and steal this shit, isn't he? I do more damage than you. I have Boomba's hammer. Nice. Well, I don't have Boomba's hammer. I have, I have Boomba's spear at the. Well, no. What is it called? I have Boomba's dagger at the moment. So I do more damage. Yeah. My trap missed. Auto attack. Fuck! I missed. Okay. The amount of numbies you are pumping. All right. Well. I have meditation. I also have to... I don't think he used in the video. I Because I watched the video quite a few times. Just because I know... So I know what build I, I'm, I have to do for this to work. Um, He did have med in every single attempt. But it wasn't upgraded to the point where... It was the, the cooldown med. Oh, I caught him. Oop. I'm really surprised that killed. Um, I can't do your blue buff, can I? Whatever. I'm attempting. Oh, my shit is going to get so pushed in here. <laughs> All right. I actually got it. Nice. So the build, by the way, if you're wondering, um, there's this YouTuber that's been doing, his name is, uh, I don't, it's like, I think it's, Hold on, I don't want to fuck it up. Give me a second. I'm going to pause and go look because this is this video is completely, literally, absolutely based off what he did. So I'm not going to accidentally say his name. Uh, Innocent Rabbit. Okay, that's what I thought his name was. But I didn't want to fuck it up. He's So he's been doing CC chains. He's been like doing all the math and like making a code and everything to figure out the longest CC chains you can do in smite for five years. He's been doing it since 2017. Um, and with season nine coming out and the death bringer, uh, it was released. He previously had an, an infinite CC chain of three gods, right? You could do it with three gods, which is pretty good. That means you can do it in a joust game, right? And then, in Season 8, with Boomba's Hammer, you could do it with just two gods. You could, with Ganesh and Nox, you could have pretty much infinite CC chain. Um, however, when Season 9 released, and Malice got turned into Deathbringer, all of a sudden, if you build a 100% crit chance, and it takes off a second of... Uh, it takes off a second of cooldowns with no internal cooldown on it. Like, Malice had a, a five-second internal cooldown, right? Which means every time, every five seconds, you could get three seconds off of your cooldowns, which was great. However, Deathbringer has no internal cooldown, which means every auto attack that you crit takes one second off, one second, sorry, off of your cooldowns. And you can attack at 2.5 2.5 attacks per second. Which means you could get literally 2.5 seconds off of your cooldowns per um per second. 
which is ridiculous. <laughs> so with that in mind, with the, the Deathbringer or the, uh, the Malice Deathbringer and Boomba's Hammer and 100% crit chance and maximum attack speed. Yes, all of those things are necessary. Um, all of a sudden, you can keep somebody in a trap permanently with only one god. It's pretty insane. If you haven't seen the video, I would recommend you go and watch the video because it is interesting to watch. And he explains it much better than I do, obviously. Um, in fact, because of his videos and how much thorough testing... Don't get, get away from me, please. Uh, because of his videos... Sorry, I had to murder someone real quick. And how much thorough testing he did... Ira's actually hired him as a data analyst for the game. <laughs> so he works at Hyra's now. So clearly he knows what the fuck he's doing and what the, what he's talking about. Um, so it's pretty interesting to go give it a watch. That being said, I need to maybe cool my jets just a little bit. I don't want him to surrender the game. Because this is something that I have to get completely full build in order to pull off. And um, I also need him to go defense. So that I don't insta-kill him with my crits. Like, if he could go... Obviously, I'm not going to message him and be like, Hey, build defense, dude. You're going to lose quick. Uh, <laughs> that would be toxic. But <laughs> if he went, like, spectral armor and, and like, breastplate, like, upgraded breastplate, that'd be perfect. That would be ideal. So I need Rage now, because he he always built... I mean, I'm pretty sure he built an item between Atalanta's and Rage. But I'm not going to, because I don't want to win that quick. Um, he Also, worth mentioning, he pulled this off in Bronze Duel, and I am in GM. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, this guy's not going breastplate right now, which sucks just a little bit. I kind of want him to. And I will also go beads because those reduce my cooldowns as well. So meditation. So uh, okay, first off, I don't think relics are necessary in order to pull off the 100% CC combo. But for somebody that has literally never practiced it, um, which is me and uh, he practiced pulling off the combo over a hundred times on test dummies so it could be a little bit harder than originally expected so in order to help me I'm gonna get the pulsing meditation that lowers my cooldowns 1.5 seconds every time it pulses and I'm gonna get the beads that lowers my cooldowns by three seconds whenever I uh, whenever I use them. I'm going to try to keep everything pretty tightly knit. The perma root. Does the root level up? No, it doesn't. It's always at two seconds. Always at two seconds. So leveling up the, the or level. Yeah, leveling up the root actually doesn't matter at all. What about the boar stun? The stun does actually level up. So that is worth leveling up. Every time I get a point, I can put it in my ult. Alright, you are going defense now. Alright, I just got triple bombed. Ouch. If I kill him right here, he will surrender the game. Please dash on me. I will kill you. I don't want to, but... I just like... I just know that if I kill him here... I know enough about duel that if I kill him here... When I have Bull Demon, he will be demoralized and quit the game. I just know. You you make it really hard not to kill you right now, my guy. Like, you're being so overly aggressive for no reason. Oh, he shit on me. Okay. 
Never mind. He's infinitely better than I am. Uh, when he dashed in, I thought for sure he was dead, but he found a, a little nook. A little nook behind a rock, but not quite in my power range, apparently. What did I die to? Two? Oh my god. His, his passive did 432 damage to me. I mean, his alt did 1254, so obviously his alt get out of me, but passive. My goodness. Immaculate damage. Okay, that's actually really good, though. I'm happy. Like, dying obviously sucks normally under normal circumstances, but I'm actually happy because now maybe he'll be more inclined to stay in the match and I can get to level 20. And hopefully he's going Spectral Armor. He did. Perfect. He went Spectral, so my crits aren't going to insta-kill him. Which is exactly what I needed, by the way. Nice. Um... I would like a couple of kills so my rage has some stacks on it. My god, you do a lot of damage. Oh, I can actually go get Deathbringer. I can't get upgraded Deathbringer. That's fine. I'm, I'm close. I just have to... Like, with this build, once I get the Malice online and then I get Boomba's Hammer... I'm like pretty much ready to go. I just need uh, maybe an Aussie or something to help me stay alive a little bit. Oh, rip. My crit chance. 80%. Alright. And this doesn't give me any more crit chance, right? Yeah, it doesn't. So 80% crit chance is pretty solid. I think in the video, he had an 80% as well. So I think these are the only crit items he got. Now I just need to get Boomba's Hammer finished, which I need three more levels to do. And then, does he have beads? He does. And then I need to get his beads. And then after I get his beads, I'm ready to fight. I could also, just for peace of mind, level my relics up. Like I said before, I, I know he didn't use them for his infinite thing, but I might need to. Oh, you also need cooldown. I forgot. You need you need 20% or you need 40% cooldown. Um, do I have anything that gives cooldown? Boomba's hammer will give me 20%. What is going to give me the rest? Um. Hmm. Very nice. Very good kill. That will give us tower and red buff. Um, and maybe level 20? I'm still kind of curious. Like, what the fuck am I going to do for cooldown? I could just go, like, if I just have blue buff and red pot, it is max cooldown. Technically. Alright. So here we go. We got it. Grab this and a 500 pot. And, um... Upgrade med. Oh, I can't fully upgrade it yet, but close enough. We have max cooldown. We have 83% crit chance. And we can do... 
we can do the uh the infinite dc i have to remember basically use an ability and just hold down your auto attack like literally the entire time he has no beads by the way so this is this is the play Okay, I'm not going to kill him. I could easily kill him there. But I'm not going to because uh, that would suck. I actually had him there. I think I actually had the CC, the infinite CC there. Because uh, he was still in my trap when I got my other trap up. The thing is... I don't think that I... Was mashing my buttons hard enough. Like, if, if you watch his video... <coughs> if you watch his video... You will hear him when he's pulling off the the infinite cc you'll hear him mashing the ever living fuck out of his keyboard <laughs> like like it's incredible it's incredible how much he mashes okay let's see here well i did it i did it i mean that was it he died a little bit too quickly, but that was it. That was a successful infinite CC glitch. Now, I want to see if I can do it while he's in his fountain. So let me message him. Let me see what he says. Okay. I'm coming in. Coming in. Nice. Let's go, dude. So he's going to be in his fountain. And I'm just going to go for it, dude. I'm just going to go for it. The infinite CC. It works, bro. It actually works, dude. What the... What the... Fuck, dude, it actually works. It actually, I, okay. I had my doubts. <laughs> Holy shit. I had my doubts. Okay, I thought, I thought for sure it had to work somewhat, right? Like there was a second of downtime or like, you know, maybe, maybe something like that, but like, genuinely with no relics and pretty like relatively normal rng it actually works that's so insane to me oh my god i just realized my spine has been zoomed in on my obs system I can't even use this footage. Huh. That is disappointing. It was very disappointing. Come here. Ow. <laughs> I did it again, dude. That's so insane. It, like, I'm I'm really upset that I can't use this footage. But at the same time, like, what if I did, though? You know, like, what if I just... What if I just used it anyways? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows?